hello pray and share warriors how are y'all doing i am trying to get my music set up it seems like that is uh i had plenty of time and then at the last minute i had to go do something so i'm sorry that i'm late I had to do a parenting thing and um but Ricky is here tonight, so he can he can change the TV. My, I thought my things were gonna work, but they may not tonight. I may have to put my old things in. Our internet's a little blinky. They were working on it this afternoon. I asked the guy, I said, you're not gonna turn my internet off, are you? I said, my husband and my son would cry. I said, I might cry too. All right. Well, anyway, so the words today are the time is now. And I think that's fitting because we've been talking about the future and we've been talking about the past. Now we're going to talk about the time is now. But I believe that what God intended when he told me that this morning was he was talking about salvation that the time is now for people to get saved hopefully this will connect my nose itches all this rain and the mold on the trees is not going to be fun in a few days not connecting for some reason. And I gotta turn this down because I can't let I can't let music um, be on my videos. Okay, I'm just gonna have to close it I guess. I'll have to put this other thing in. I'll have to put my other earbud in. It's aggravating. Those things don't work all really well all the time. It kind of annoys me because I got these wireless earbuds specifically for doing this. And then they don't work half the time. Alright, well I'm back to the, the uh, other one then. Well, at least they work though. Okay, so the time is now. The time is now for people to get saved. So we're going to look up some scriptures. Um, but first of all, we're going to jump into prayer. I hope you had an awesome day today. I got my work done today, so I am free. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Okay. I wanted to make that straighter. Okay, so today I have on my Waymaker t-shirt. I bought this one from myself for my birthday last year. It's really my favorite, but I don't like the arms in it. So I usually put something over it but I love the picture on it I ought to order me another one but like a, a men's with the arms that I like okay and there we are now I'm not a floating head anymore okay well let's jump into prayer I'm so sorry that I just can't get things together like that's not even all right it is now okay well let's get into prayer my hair is a rainy day hairdo so that's just uh, as good as it gets today so let's jump into some prayer and then we will talk about why the time is now for salvation that people need to quit being on the fence, it's time for people to choose.
God, we just come to you and we just pray, God. We thank you that you are on your throne and in control, God. That you make a way when there is no way. That you do keep all your promises. That you are the miracle worker. And that you are the light in the darkness, God. We are thankful that you are our creator, our sustainer, our protector our provider, our shelter in the storm, our strength and our refuge, God, and so much more. You are so much more, God. God, we just thank you that you are beautiful and mighty and magnificent and powerful. You are the righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness. God, you are still caring and loving and compassionate and uh, patient towards us. God, you do keep all your promises and all your prophecies will be fulfilled. God, everything will be according to your perfect timing and your perfect will. We thank you for loving us. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. God, we do cry out for the lost. We cry out for their souls, God. We pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. We pray that you would soften their hearts, God. We know that the time is now for salvation, God. We pray for the prodigals to come home, God. We just pray for them to see where they are for them to return to you, for them to repent, for them to have their relationship with you reconciled and made as new. God, we just pray also for the Israelis and the Palestinians, God, we just pray for a peace, a peace that passeth all understanding, God. That peace through Jesus is what we pray for. We pray for the injured, God, that you would heal them. We pray for the ones that have, have, um, we pray for the families of those that have lost loved ones. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength. God, we just pray for all the disasters happening, God. We just pray that you would be in the midst, that they would feel your presence, God. That you would send people to be the hands and feet of Jesus. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright, well, I want to first read to you. Oh, my eyes itch. I'm having just a hard time with my eyes and allergies right now. Okay. Ooh, that was interesting. That's weird. All right, where's this song? Okay, here it is. So, um, I shared a song called The Time Is Now. And it is old. Like, I haven't heard it in so long. But I love it. It is such a great song. And uh, it really fits what I want to talk about. So this song and message is a blast from the past, my past. I have always loved the lyrics of this song by Twyla Paris. The message is so relevant today. My words for today, the time is now. Time is running out for many people and God is reaching out for the lost sheep to be saved through Jesus and the prodigals to come back. Time is running out more and more every day. The good news is that there is still time. Jesus will return to get his church, his bride. Are you ready to go? Please call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God if you have strayed away. God wants none to perish, John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Admit that you are a sinner. Ask for forgiveness. 
believe that Jesus is God's one and only Son that came to save the world through his death, burial, and resurrection. Confess Jesus as your Savior and Lord of your life. Invite him into your heart. Leave the old and receive the new. So that is what I shared today about the time is now in this song. And so if you get a chance, go listen to the songs that I share because they really go with the message. And so it's just um, an additional way to explain what I'm talking about. So I found some verses. I found some verses about time and I found some verses about uh, time is now. So let's just talk about time. And one thing I wanted to read, I know I read this a lot and I can't help it. To me, it's so relevant to what we're going through right now. I can just read it and I can just see everything. I may do it in Luke though if I can find it. For some reason, I'm thinking Luke 21. No. It's not. All right, it's Luke 22. Oh, it is Luke 21. Okay, I'm right. Well, the Holy Spirit is right. It's not me. I think he's the one that led me here. So let's read what Jesus said in Matthew 24, but let's read it in Luke 21 tonight. And he looked up and saw the rich man casting, men casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites. And he said, Of a truth I say unto you, that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in, in unto the offerings of God. But she of her penury hath cast in all the living that she had. She gave it all. And as some spake of the temple, how it was adorned with goodly stones and gifts, he said, as for these things which ye behold, the days will come in the which there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? Okay, so this is, the, this is a mirror to Matthew 24. And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. Do not go after false Christ. There will come false Christs. But Jesus is telling us here, don't go after them. But when ye hear of when ye shall hear of wars and commotions be not terrified for these things must first come to pass but the end is not by and by then said he unto them nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom now we are seeing that right now we are seeing nation rise against nation we are seeing Israel the Israelis and the Palestinians launching multiple rockets at each other. And the Palestinians started it through Hamas. So Israel is protecting themselves. And God is going to stand with Israel. They are his chosen people. And whoever doesn't stand with Israel will not be blessed. Okay. The great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, in famines, in pestilences, in fearful sights, in great signs shall there be from heaven. We have seen some great signs from heaven. We have seen multiple blood moons. We have seen um, 
a lot of different things. The weather patterns are out of whack. Uh, we have pestilences. We have famines in other countries. And if we don't get better leaders, we're going to have famines here too. And uh, earthquakes, definitely earthquakes in a lot of diverse places, places that you would never think they would be. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it, therefore, in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay or resist, nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. So there will be a lot of betrayal. There is betrayal now, but not like what he's talking about. We are not where he is talking about yet. But the time is now to be saved. You don't want to wait until Jesus has already come. You do not want to wait until then. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not an hair of your head perish. So our hair, we shall not perish. In your patience possess ye your souls. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. So when we see Jerusalem compassed with armies, see, I'm wondering right now where America stands they say they stand with Israel but I want to share something with you the words and the actions don't match right now so does that mean that we will betray Israel and we will not be standing with Israel I don't know that's a scary thought we need to be standing with Israel I stand with Israel myself they are my brothers and sisters. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter there into. For these by the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. So when they see these armies come in, and they will come in because this is what God's word says, I think we're close. I really do. I think that people, some people are standing with Israel. I think some people are saying they're standing with Israel, but they're really not. I think there will be great betrayal to Israel for probably a lot of money or goods okay for these be the days of vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled but woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days for there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people so God will bring wrath upon these people that oppose Israel. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So the Israelis will be become captives of other nations. And this isn't the first time. Just read the Old Testament. This is what the Old Testament is about. So 
about Israel following God, Israel not following God, Israel following other gods. Uh, and God punishes us when we are not obedient. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts falling, failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. And he spake to them in parable, Behold the fig tree and all the trees. When they now shoot forth, ye see and know on your own selves that summer is nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away until all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest any time your hearts be overcharged with, surf with surfeiting. I don't even know what that is. In, drunk in drunkenness and cares of this life and so that day come upon you unawares for as a snare shall it come on them that dwell on the face of the whole earth watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man and in the daytime he was teaching in the temple, and at night he went out and abode in the mount that is called the Mount of Olives. And all the people came early in the morning to him in the temple for to hear him. So these are the things that we look for. We have earthquakes in diverse places. We have famines. We have pestilences. We have great signs and wonders in the heaven. We have wars and rumors of wars. We have kingdoms against kingdoms. We have not had the armies come into Jerusalem to take the Israelites captive. We have not seen that. We have seen the signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth. We see distress of nations and um, the sea and the waves roaring. We see people failing because of fear. We have not seen the Son of Man come in the clouds yet. We have not seen that yet. So there is time. The time is now, but there is time. There is time to make this most important decision of your life. There is no decision that you're going to make in your life that is going to hinge on your eternal resting place or your eternal life there is not so I wanted to read that I want to read Ecclesiastes 3 1 through 8 I like Ecclesiastes I have a hard time finding it, but I like it. I think it's over here. Huh. It's a 
Chapter or Proverbs. Okay. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8. And we've all heard this. To everything there is a season and a time. To every purpose under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth? I have seen the travail which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. And he hath set the world in their heart, so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. I know that there is no good in them but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life, and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God doeth it, and then that men should fear before him. That which has been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. And God requireth that which is past. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. I said in mine heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. I said in mine heart concerning the state of the sons of men, that God might manifest them, and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. <clears throat> For that which befalleth the sons of men befalleth beasts. Every one thing befalleth them. As the one dieth, so dieth the other. Yea, they have all one breath, so that a man hath no preeminence above a beast. For all is vanity. All go unto one place, all are of the dust, and all turn to dust again. Who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward, the spirit of the beast that goeth downward to the earth? Wherefore I perceive that there is nothing better than that a man should rejoice in his own works, for that is his portion. For who shall bring him to see what? shall be after him. Well, I wasn't planning on reading all of that, but that was really good. There is a time for everything. You know, God created time for us. And so there is a time for everything. And God's timing is not what we see here on the earth. His time is different than ours. And so we may be sitting around going, why won't God do anything about the craziness that's going on in our country? Well, maybe it's not time. It needs to be in his perfect timing, in his perfect will. But there is a time for everything, and now is the time for salvation. Because now is the time to get saved. So let's see what else we have. Okay, well, talking about that God's time is not ours, 2 Peter 3 8 says this.
But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, but some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up, seeing them that all these things shall be dissolved. What matter of persons ought ye be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that, that ye may be found of them in peace, without spot and blameless, in account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also according to the wisdom given unto him hath written unto you as also in his epistles speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to be understood which they that are unlearned and unstable rest and rest like wrestle with w-r-e-s-t and they, also, they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall down your own, fall from your own steadfastness. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and forever. Amen. So again, our time is not the same as God's. But God is telling me that the time is now. It is close. It is very, we are very close to the rapture. I don't put dates or times or anything because we're not supposed to. Okay, let's move on to these other verses. Romans 13, 11. And then we'll wrap this, the scripture part up. So if you ever can think of a scripture that matches this lesson, then please put it in the comments. Put anything that you want in the comments. Please comment and like and share. Okay, so um, Romans thirteen eleven, and that knowing the time, that now it is nigh time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting or drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Okay, so the time is now for our salvation and is nearer than what we believed. So we need to cast off the works of unrighteousness and get things right before God. 
So let's go to Acts 27. So fitting, I'm listening to I Can Only Imagine, one of my favorite songs. Acts 27, 9 says, Now when much time was spent and when sailing was now dangerous, because the fast was now already past, Paul admonished them and said unto them, Sirs, I perceive that this voyage will be with hurt and much damage, not only of the lading and ship, but also of our lives. Nevertheless, the centurion believed the master and the owner of the ship more than those things which were spoken by Paul. And because the haven was not commodious to winter in, the more part advised to depart thence also, if by any means they might attain to Phoenice and there to winter, which is in, ha in haven of Crete, and lieth toward southwest and northwest. So I was just reading down to see if any of these people got saved. Okay, let's see where we are here. First John two eighteen. First John two eighteen. It says, Little children, it is the last time, and as you have heard that any Christ shall come, even now are there many antichrists whereby we know that it is, it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Okay, that doesn't really fit. Let's try Second Corinthians 6, 2. Some of the verses I get just really don't fit. Maybe I'm not looking at them right, but I don't think they do. 6, 2 says, For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I said, Accord thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed, but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God, in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness, on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as known and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, as chastened and not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. O ye Corinthians, our mouth is open unto you, our heart is enlarged. 
Ye are not straightened in us, but we are straightened in your own bowels. Now for a recompense in the same, I speak as unto my children. Be ye also enlarged. So again, today is the day of salvation. The time is now. We don't want to keep waiting. You know, Jesus is patiently, patiently waiting. Has probably been waiting your whole life for you to come to Him. For you to invite Him in as your Savior and Lord. Okay, so this, these are my notes from this morning. I'm sorry, I keep rubbing my eyes. They itch. Ugh, this itchiness is making my throat raw. Okay, good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, of new opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new day, child, of blessings and rain also. So rain is considered to be a blessing from God. Um... So thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share your truth and the gospel of Jesus. Thank you for the blessing of rain. Help me to get what I need to get done. Done today, God. He said, Child, the time is now for the lost to come to Jesus, as they are to be cleansed from their sins and shame and shames. He is lovingly waiting for them with his arms stretched out wide. And we are waiting for the prodigals to return also. So much takes place at the same time. Truths are being revealed and deception is soon to go away. The, the goats will push very hard at the end, but the righteous will overcome. Many have crossed over to the righteous side through Jesus, and the Jesus movement continues to sweep through all countries and all over the world. It is a worldwide movement in the midst of many tragedies and events. There will be more to come also. So brace yourself, child. People are going through life with blinders on and their ears stopped up. Soon all will see the truth being revealed by my righteousness and my righteous children too. You are feeling convicted for following some, 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 like some on YouTube that Every once in a while they throw a cuss word out, but yet they claim that they're Christians. Well, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. And so uh, he said, hearken to the conviction and discernment of the Holy Spirit. Only follow my true messengers, child. Let the Holy Spirit guide you and only them, to only them. So I see clearly, God, what you are saying in your word and unfolding before me too. I feel like time is running out for people to choose. A choice has to be made. Soon I feel this urgency need to be made soon. I feel this urgency to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus. I do not want any to perish either God. Many on the fence are in such danger of being left behind. Many need their hearts healed from hurt and to accept Jesus as their Savior. They need to take the hand of the nail-scarred hand and step into peace forever. I see you taking many of your children home also right now. There are a lot of people that are passing away right now. I heard of another one today that passed away. Um... And I see all the evil taking place at the same time. I trust only you and no leaders at all. 
I see all unfolding like a movie, and the rapture is the climax that will bring major chaos. And he said, keep walking with Jesus, child. Keep close by and complete your race that leads to the rewards ahead. Keep looking up in anticipation of the glorious appearing of Jesus. Be strong and courageous until the end, child. And I said, thank you, God, for meeting me today. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. He said, I love you too, my child. Now be obedient to me in all I ask. The reunion is soon, child, so be ready. It will be a glorious instant and eternity here in the land of perfection where there is only love, joy, and peace. And I said, you're an awful God. Wow, I'm kind of sleepy right now. I'm not alone. All right, let's use the bracelet tonight. I really like the bracelet. I guess I'm getting stuck on the E3 stuff. Okay, this is an E3 band, and I think I'll do the, I think I'll do the English instead of the Spanish because I couldn't really do the Spanish. Yeah, I can't. Okay. So, for I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is God's power for salvation to everyone who believes. Romans 1 16. So, the gold color, excuse me, the gold color, color represents God. The creator of all who lives in heaven. The Bible says that God is light and in him there is no darkness. God is perfect. God loves you and he wants to have a personal relationship with you. Jesus is God's son. The Bible says that Jesus and God are one. Okay, the dark with a question mark. The dark color represents sin which is doing wrong things. God says that all have sinned and fall short of God's standard of perfection. Sin separates us from God. The Bible says that the penalty for our sin is death or separation from him forever. This first question mark is asking, how can your sins be removed so that you can know God? Well, let's move to the red. The red color represents Jesus' blood. Jesus lived a perfect and sinless life, but he died on a cross to pay the penalty for all of our sin. Again, the payment for sin is death. So Jesus paid the penalty for each of us. Why, the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he sent his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life with God. The good news is that you don't have to be separated from God forever by sin. Okay. So the next color is white with a red question mark. The white color represents each of us after our sins are washed away by Jesus. How can Jesus wash our sins away when we believe in Jesus by following him our sins are forgiven the Bible says if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved Romans 10 9 so the question mark is asking have you accepted Jesus's gift of forgiveness by believing in him so let's pray this prayer God thank you for loving me I confess that I have sinned against you I believe that your son Jesus died on a cross to pay for my sins and that you raised Jesus from the dead. I 
I now put my faith only in Jesus to forgive me and save me from my sins. I confess that Jesus is Lord. Thank you for your gift of eternal life. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that allergy. <laughs> Sorry, I think I dozed off. Ah, the allergy medicine is getting to me today. Allergies are getting to me today. The green color represents growth in your relationship with God. These symbols show the area of growth. Okay, so we have the heart. The greatest commandment is that we love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and that we love our neighbor as ourselves. Love God, love people. And so the next one is read the Bible each day to learn more about God and his love. And then we got the praying man. Pray to God constantly and share your thoughts, needs, and desires with him. And then we have the water droplet. When we are baptized, we are telling the world that we have committed our lives to Jesus and that we are a new person like being born all over again. And so this is the fellowship sign. Hang out with other Christians and encourage each other. Church is a good place to start. And the last one Share the good news that Jesus can forgive sins when you trust in him. Tell as many people as you can. Okay, if you said this prayer and you invited Jesus to be your Savior, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels are rejoicing in heaven. And your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus, his Son. And Jesus is coming. And the time is now. So if you got saved, then please share with others. Share with others what you just did. Tell the world about the good news of Jesus Christ, that he loves you. And because he laid down his life for every one of us, everyone. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Come as you are today. The time is now to get saved. The time is now. Okay, I don't know why I am so sleepy, but I am definitely sleepy. So I am going to get off of here. So let me know if you got saved today. Let me know if any of this made sense. Let me know if there are verses that you like that could have gone with this lesson. Let me know if you have any prayer requests. Just let me know something. Alright. I am going to do the blessing from God. And I'm going to get off of here. I may go to bed. I'm tired. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, so this is a blessing from God in Numbers 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Well, this world needs peace. Our country needs peace. There's so much division right now that really is nonsensical. And um, in the sight of God's eyes, it really doesn't matter. And that's what is important, is how God looks at things. It is not important how man looks at things. Everything is gone done from God's perspective, God's perfect timing, God's perfect will. So, 
I am going to pray and get off of here. And I hope I don't fall asleep during the prayer. I don't know why I'm so sleepy all of a sudden. Maybe I ought to be slapping myself around a little bit. We go. All right. God, we just come to you, God, and you are, you are an awesome God. You are a powerful God. You are on your throne and you are in control, God. You love all of us the same, God. You sent your son to die for every one of us, God. You just want people to choose your son and to be saved through him, God. And it is not hard. People can come as they are. They don't have to clean their lives up. You require nothing from us except that we accept your son. God, and your blessings will flow. So God, we just pray that you would help us to continue to share with people that the time is now. We don't live in our past. We don't live with our scars. We don't try to go forward and try to figure out the details of going forward into the future. We need to live in the now, and the time is now to be sharing your truths, God, and salvation through Jesus. Those are the most important things to you. That is what you keep telling me, is that that is most important to you right now. God, so we just pray that you would give us the boldness to share it with everyone. These two things, your truths and the gospel of Jesus, help us to be compassionate and loving as Jesus Help us to walk in righteousness, God. Help us to walk in the Spirit. Help us to be strong, God, and be courageous with all things that are coming towards us, God. Help us to brace for impact. Help us to be looking for Jesus. Help us, God, to be the servants that you need us to be. And I pray for everyone in their families that comes on here, God. I just pray that if there's anyone that needs to be saved, that the Holy Spirit would draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, all right, my friends, my Pray and Share Warriors, it is time for me to get off and uh, have an awesome rest of your night and an awesome uh, tomorrow which is Wednesday already. So I'll be going to youth tomorrow, so I will not be here tomorrow night. I will be sharing God's truths and the gospel of Jesus with the younger generation. I'll be sharing some of the things that uh, God has taught me. And, um, but I will not be back Thursday either. I'll be doing some more training, so I'll be back on Friday. And I don't know what God is gonna have me talk about on Friday. If I have time, tomorrow I may do a very short message and just leave it here um, on my page. And uh, but I usually don't on Wednesdays. I don't know where my days, where the day goes, but it goes quickly. So no guarantees on that. Okay, I'm going to get off of here. Much love. Much love. And cyber hugs till I see you again. Good night.